Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you uh, use the wizard to record the current sender position. Now if you've got a fuel gauge, what you would do, you would start with empty tank and then fill your tank to quarter full, half full, three quarters and full. Let's just go through that process. So this we're going to use this sender, this uh, resistor to simulate a sender and we've got an empty tank, it's set to empty. Um, we're going to use button A and we're going to do one flash. One flash. It repeats the one flash back, it records the value, and then there's a long flash to say, I've finished, I'm back in the main menu. Then what you would do, you'd fill your tank up to quarter full, and you do two flashes. One, two. Obviously it's a lot easier me turning this knob than filling the tank, but there we go. We're going to do half full, that'll be three. Again, the long flash tells you you can do the next one. Three quarters is, uh, I'm just going to check, it's four. One, two, oops, I did it wrong. Turn it off, and you won't have lost anything. One, two, three, four. Long flash. Fill the tank up, five. That's for a fuel gauge. Um, if you're doing a temperature gauge, what you would do is you'd use the resistances of the thermistor sender that you've obtained by heating it up and measuring the resistance. Now, if you remember, um, there's a little blue variable resistor I'm just going to get from the box. Little blue variable resistor, I'll hold it there. If you do um, do a thermistor sender, a temperature sensor sender, um, what you can do is measure the resistances with your multimeter and then use this little variable resistor. Use the middle wire and an end wire. And by turning this screw, you can make this any resistance between 0 and 500 ohms. So you can use that to simulate your uh, resistances on your thermistor sender rather than having to hold the thermistor sender at a particular temperature for a long period of time. It does make life a bit easier.